good everyone and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a displaced wall diagram in autodex revit so if you have not done so make this the video you hit the like button subscribe to our channel for more content like this trust me we release architectural and software tutorial content on this channel so make sure you're subscribed also hit the notification bell to get notified when we release new videos and without wasting any more time we're going to jump right into the main content of this video all right as usual the first thing to do is to open a new revit project then we are simply going to go to this architecture tab and we are going to click on walls. So once you click on wall, an option will come out. You can just click on this icon here and an array of different type of walls will come out. So you are just going to select from one of them. So let's just say we are going to use this one and select it. Then we are just going to draw a wall around the middle of this elevation tags here. Okay, so now we are just going to go to 3D here and to access the 3D we are just going to go to this tab over here and click on it. So we can see the wall we just created and we can just rotate our 3D toggle and just see it from different perspectives. So now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to go over this graphics visual tile here and we are just going to click on this tab and we are going to change it to shaded. So now it is in shaded we are going to see the colors and we could get a better perspective of how it really looks. So now we are going to just click on the wall. Once we click on the wall, this icon will appear here and we're just going to click on this icon. What this icon does is that it shows the parts of the wall. So we could see the layers of the wall, the different layers and we could work on them. So now we are just going to start working on these layers to get a more axonometric or more informative view of it. So we're just going to click on this first layer. Then we're going to go over to this tab here and we're going to click divide part. So now we have clicked selected divide part. We're just going to rotate this wall to a good perspective view and we're going to click on edit sketch. So under edit sketch, of course, we can set our plane, but we're just going to set our plane and set work plane. Then under work plane, we're just going to click on pick plane and we're going to click OK. So now we're just going to select the face of the layer we want to edit. So we're just going to draw a line and we're going to make sure this line crosses these borders. So we're just going to click on it and just draw this diagonal line to divide the element. Then we're going to click finish and we're just going to click finish here. So now we have done this, you could just see that the layer would divide into two respective elements. So we're just going to click on this and we're just going to click on exclude parts. So this is going to hide this layer of this wall. So now we're going to click on the next layer and we're going to do the same thing. Then we're just going to click on divide parts. So under this divide part, we're going to go to edit sketch. And after edit sketch, we're going to go to set and we're going to go to set a work plane. And we're going to click on pick work plane. So now we are going to pick the next layer, which is this one that is next here. And we're just going to click on it. Now we're just going to use a straight line, another diagonal line and draw a diagonal line crossing it. We are going to make sure the line crosses the border. So we are just going to click on finish. All right. So now we are just going to click on finish again. And we are just going to click on this part of this layer again. And we are going to click on exclude part once again. So as you can see, we are already building up something. So we are going to click on this next layer. We are going to click on divide part. Then we are going to go to an appropriate view. We are going to click on edit sketch. And we are going to click on set work plane. And we are going to set the work plane. And we are going to click on pick a plane. And we're going to pick this plane. So we're going to try again to select this new plane now. And we're going to select it. Then we're just going to use another diagonal line and draw through this way. And we're going to click finish. And we're going to click finish again. So now we have done this. We're just going to click on this part of this layer of this wall. And we're going to click exclude parts to hide it. So now we're going to click on this next layer. And we're going to do the same thing once again. So we're going to go to divide parts. We are going to go to edit sketch and we are going to go to set and we are going to set the work plane where we want to edit. Pick a plane and we are going to try and pick this next layer. Now we are just going to use a diagonal line as usual and just we are just going to draw through it. Then we are going to click finish, finish and we are going to just rotate it and click on this and we are going to click exclude element. Okay, so wow, we are in a good position now. So what is the next thing we are going to do? We are just going to rotate this to an appropriate view. Then we are going to go to this 3D. In the, we are going to go under this project browser and locate the 3D where it is. Then we are going to right click and click on duplicate view. Duplicate with detailing. Okay, so now we have created an independent view. We could just rename it as view 1. Okay, so now we've renamed it. 
we are now going to start working to into the next step so now we are going to click on one of these layers or let's try and click on the first layer then we are going to go over to this displace element tab which is this tab here once you click on it you will see some icons will come out for you to be able to adjust it it doesn't mean the layer is actually being adjusted it's just a, a graphical illustration so we are just going to drag this horizontal line and drag this green line out so we could also add some things to indicate where the layer is coming from by going and clicking on this part icon here this part icon will now give us some lines showing that okay this layer is coming from this point of this view so we are going to do the same for the other layers so it could be more informative and people could see the individual layers more precisely so we are going to do the same we are going to click on parts to indicate okay this part is getting too cumbersome so i think i'll stop using it then i'm going to click on this next layer i'm going to go to displace element and i'm going to adjust it i'm going to do the same for this layer i'm going to adjust it as well so as you can see we have creating a very good displace element so the next step is to edit the visibility graphics or the graphics display so we're going to click on gd on our keyboard to access these uh, options so first of all we're going to turn on these smooth lines with anti-aliasing we're going to go under the shadows we're going to turn on the cast shadows check the show ambient shadows we're going to go to lighten and under this lighting we're going to increase the sunlight just a bit to around 50 we're going to increase the ambient light a bit to around 10 we're also going to reduce the shadow to around 10 as well then we're going to go to this in light setting under this in light setting we're going to select sunrise from top right then we're going to click ok and we're going to click apply yeah so as you can see the graphic is more elaborate so now we are just going to go over to this unlocked 3d and we're going to click on it and save orientation and lock view so what this means is we can no more rotate it and we can easily place this view on a sheet so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this show crop region this show crop region shows the extent it will actually pick if we place it on a sheet so we're going to reduce it to make it as small as possible so it will just be compact and we could just place it on a sheet then i'm just going to go back here and click on hide crop region so we'll not be seeing any crop region line which i think is good so now we are going to go on to annotate now and we're going to start annotating these layers and materials so once we go to annotate we're going to click on the material tag and once we click on material tag we're just going to click on the material we're going to click again then we're going to click to the final position where we want to place them and we're going to repeat this for all the layers so basically we could just try and adjust it ourselves and make sure that everything is not too clogged by just moving it by clicking on the move icon so as you can see this is looking very good so now we'll just go and create a sheet let's just create a new sheet then we could load in a, our own default sheet all right so now we've created the sheet we're just going to go to our project browser and we're going to just click on this view one that is the view we created and we're just going to drag it okay so now as you can see this view is looking too small we could just click inside the view and we could just reduce the scale so it will become bigger let's reduce it to scale one is to fifth then we're going to click out of the box and we're just going to place it on this sheet okay so as you can see this is it on the sheet and we're just going to print it out for the final product we're going to go to select sheets of views we're going to click on this combine we're going to click on select to select the sheet we're going to click on this multiple tab and i'm going to uncheck this 3d and 2d views and we're just going to leave it as sheet so under this sheet we're going to locate the last sheet which i think is or oh, well let's just close this panel first and confirm the sheet where okay this is c102 i could just rename this sheet as 000 then i'm going to click on ctrl p again and i'm going to select the sheet then i'm going to uncheck this multiple change it to only sheet only then i'm just going to click on this check none after i click on check none i could just click on or hide or hide check views i could just check this so all the unchecked um, sheets will still be showing then i'm just going to try and see if i could get the sheet i want which is this 000 and i'm just going to check it and i'm going to click select i'm going to click no and i'm going to go to setup under setup i'm going to change this from letter to a3 
Then I'm going to click on zoom and I'm going to leave the remaining setting. I think everything is good. Then I'm going to click OK and I'm going to click OK. Then we're going to locate the file where we want to locate it. Then I'm just going to save it as one. So as you can see, this is the displace wall diagram we just created in a few minutes. So this could be helpful very well if you are doing some details or specifications or you want to show some integrate parts of a system or whatever you are doing with Revit. So if this video was helpful, make sure you do us the favor by hitting the like button. It's very important for the algorithm. Also hit the notification bell for more videos like this and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's not hard, just subscribe. Some of you people just come and watch these videos. You get what you need and you don't subscribe. So please just support the channel by subscribing to it. Okay, thank you once again and have a nice day.